Did you miss me? Tidy! In today's video, we take a look at why Oof. Level Earth Observer, the crane driver, is absolutely convinced that the Perseverance rover didn't land on Mars. Go nuts on my nuts. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder with me, the Creaky Blinder. Mars Perseverance, which launched in July 2020, cost $2.4 billion to build and launch and will cost another $300 million to land and operate during its first year on Mars. Whoa, 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 hang on a second, that's really thrown me off my stride. Level Earth Observer doesn't usually get anything right, but don't panic, I'm sure he won't continue to do so. So let's have a look. What's got the press and the kids in the control room worked up into a frenzy. And just quickly, for those of you who are not familiar with Level Earth Observer, or Leo, as he's known to his friends, well, he's a self-proclaimed expert in, well, everything. Unlike every other internet-based self-proclaimed expert, Leo is obviously never wrong. It's just all the other real experts that are wrong, but definitely not Leo. Now the sad thing is about all the shots when the control rooms at NASA, um, they are literally photo shoots, taking advantage of naive kids who work here. What? Children can work at NASA? Well, I'd always been led to believe that to be hired as a scientist for NASA, you need a minimum of a bachelor's degree in physics, astrophysics, astronomy, geology, space science, or some other similar field. But I suppose this is why you are an expert, Leo, and this guy is not. And you can see the camera's all about to capture this moment in time, so this gets played back for years to come, as somehow trying to solidify this charade, this Martian charade. Now, I would have thought that they were recording this for prosperity because it is actually a historical event that people will talk about for generations to come. But yeah, we can go with charade for now, I suppose. After all, you were the expert, not me. This heliocentric charade. Ah, so it's a charade and didn't really happen because flat Earth. So let's have a look at these young, innocent, naive kids being taken advantage of. Now again, I will repeat myself and say I'm definitely no expert, nor do I pretend to be. But I'm seeing an awful lot of grey hair. There's even a bald guy. <laughs> Imagine that, having no hair in this picture. So I'm starting to wonder whether Leo is talking about a completely different picture, because I'm definitely not seeing any children in this one. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. Ready to begin. Can you imagine how absolutely elated those people must have been knowing that they have participated in a historical event and just witnessed Perseverance touching down on the surface of Mars safely? Sad really, when you know and you can see it for what it is. It's quite sad. Just innocent, naive nerds being taken advantage of. Wait, so they've suddenly just graduated from being naive kids to naive nerds? So at 2.4 billion, Let's see what is being served up now. That was when they landed. Let's see now what is being served up. Because if the numbers on the screen are getting these kids worked up, surely the things that are to come are going to send these kids into overdrive. I can't help but notice that you seem to be focusing an awful lot on that $2.4 billion, plus the additional $300 million that it's going to cost to run the mission. You're not one of those guys, Leo, are you? He is one of those guys, isn't he? Let's not beat around the bush here. And I don't think it's numbers on the screens that are getting these people so excited. I think it's the fact that they have just witnessed something absolutely amazing. Latest hot off the press. This is an image of the rover Perseverance slung beneath the descent stage. It's this clown made himself look ridiculous with the last Mars charade. He didn't have a Scooby-Doo who was supposed to be the manager of the project. He didn't have a clue about anything. Unlike you, obviously, Leo, who, despite not having anything to do with this mission, seems to know an awful lot about it and where they went wrong, and more importantly, whether or not it even really happened. Now, the voice you're hearing is Adam Stelzner, who was the chief engineer of this project. So, if the chief engineer isn't an expert, 
but you are level earth observer then i fear for humanity you can see the dust kicked up by the rover's engines we're probably about two meters or so above the surface of mars we're still checking the timing of this image it's just hot off the presses you can see the mechanical bridles that hold the uh, uh, rover underneath the descent stage as three straight lines heading down to the top deck. And then the curly electrical umbilical. Matey boy, you make this about as exciting is a trip to the morgue. Unlike your videos, Level Earth Observer, which literally has the world and his brother so engaged, their nails are bitten down to the quick and they're balanced on the edge of their seats. Let's, let's just have a look for ourselves. Your latest title. Oh. 254 views. You're not feeling it, and neither am I. Well then, you should be a little bit more choosy about the things you decide to make videos about. Because the trick behind this whole YouTube malarkey is making videos that people want to watch. And hopefully, you will want to watch the rest of this video. So bear with me momentarily, because I am actually touching clock. Alright, you stayed then. I can't believe I'm having to bring this up. I'm a little bit upset, if I'm being honest. None of you have even noticed my new glasses. You're not convincing, and neither is the image on the screen. Even if it is real, it's hardly scientific. It's not blowing me away. So, a mission to a planet that is 140 million miles away and successfully landing on that planet isn't scientific and doesn't blow you away. What about this then? A bulldog riding a skateboard. If that doesn't blow you away, I don't know what will. Uh, this image was acquired by the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, or MRO, um, one of our orbiters. And then you'll get served up this, some Mars orbiter takes a picture of this, and what's that top right? It's supposed to be the craft coming in with a parachute. Unbelievable. You're right. It is unbelievable and incredible in equal measure. But it's also unbelievable that people like you even exist in the first place. And even more unbelievable is the fact that in your case, you're allowed to operate heavy machinery. I'm guessing unsupervised. You can see here in the uh, zoomed in part of the image uh, in the upper right, uh, our spacecraft uh, with a fully inflated parachute um, and hanging underneath it, our protective entry capsule. Uh, if you look uh, just below uh, to the little circle uh, that you see on the screen, uh, this was our eventual touchdown point. Yeah, right. I'm sure it was me old mate. I'm sorry. Again, not convincing. Now I've made plenty of videos about Level Earth Observer. I mean, why not? He is so easy to make videos about because of how stupid he is. And I've just noticed something which should really have been so glaringly obvious, I can't believe I've missed it before. He never actually provides an alternative explanation. He literally just goes, no, that's not convincing. But he never goes on to say why it's not convincing. I wonder why that is. Is it possibly because he has absolutely no idea what he's talking about? Ridiculous amount of money. Naive kids in the control room being taken advantage of. Images that I could produce for a ridiculously low cost. And there it is again, the mention of the money. Why are you so concerned about what this cost? Did you pay for it? No, you didn't. NASA get given a budget and they use that budget for missions like this. You seem to be one of those people who is of the mindset that NASA are doing nothing productive with the money that they are allocated as their budget. What exactly do you think they're doing with it? And they didn't use money to produce these images. These images were produced from photographs that were taken and video footage of the Perseverance rover landing on the surface of Mars. I really don't understand why this is such a difficult concept for you to grasp. Stories being made up left, right and centre that can't be verified. <laughs> what do you mean they can't be verified? You were literally watching video footage of this event happening. The fact that you choose to call bull on it does not mean that it didn't happen. Uh, this was an image captured by our rear hazard avoidance camera. I mean, even in this bloke's voice, he's not exactly buzzing with enthusiasm. Perhaps he knows, unlike the kids in the control room, 
I mean, it's difficult to get excited over this tosh, isn't it? Let's be fair. You talk so much. Oof. I don't know whether to offer you a mint or some toilet paper. So this is the this is a picture of with the covers still on. Uh, and oh, please tell me it gets better, Harley. Surely it gets better, darling. And if we go to the next one, now we have our somewhat lower resolution, but. <sighs> Please tell me, what is scientific about these pictures? They were taken on a planet which is 140 million miles away. Given the so-called achievements made back in space in the 60s, all this should have been done years ago and it should have been filmed, mapped. We should have satellites, radio towers on Mars and all sorts by now, but no, still the silly charade daft pictures, naive kids in control rooms, ridiculous stories. I wonder what it's like to be that stupid. Let me ask you this, Leo, in case you do happen to stumble across this video, because people like you tend to search YouTube looking for videos about themselves, clearly, which is something I never do. Apparently, you were a tower crane operator. Now, how tall is a tower crane? Is it 150 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet? I don't know, don't particularly care. I get dizzy on a thick carpet, so you'd never get me up in a crane. But how difficult would it be for you to get up into the cab of your tower crane if there was no ladder? And what I'm getting at is that it's quite difficult to get to Mars, isn't it, you idiot? Do we get anything that is would even resemble something that would be classed as science? really high resolution compared to what we've seen before on other previous missions and now in color. So this is our first color front Hascam image and our first color image from the surface of Mars. Um, we, this is not... No offense, love. Big deal. That could be anywhere. Ridiculous costs involved. This isn't scientific whatsoever, Hallie. A color corrected product yet, so we'll be continuing to work. Our team has been working up until five o'clock this morning and we'll continue to be working hours like this over the weekend to get data as quickly and uh, accessible out to the public. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to color correct these images? Absolutely not, because you know exactly what people like Level Earth Observer will claim then. C. G. I. Exactly. So one of the amazing things about these cameras is they're actually... There it is, guys. This is the image we've been waiting for. The most scientific image I've ever come across in the heliocentric pantomime picture book. <laughs> See? Heliocentric picture book. What's the matter, Level Earth Observer? Are you another Flat Earth as a little bit nervous that somebody may take a picture of the Earth from Mars? The track, the wheel of the Mars lander. This is the one we've been waiting for. This answers all the questions and the mysteries of heliocentric space. Oh yeah? And why is that exactly? Is it because it's round? High five? This alone was worth the 2.4 billion and the additional 300 million dollars to follow. Incredible. This is the slot that gets served up. Kids get worked into a frenzy over numbers. So naturally, this will get them salivating. It's a joke. Clearly a charade. So there, as I mentioned, there are 20 megapixel color cameras and we can actually basically- Nah, big deal, Harley, no offense. Oh, and I'm sure there'd be none taken. You know, you making a mockery of what? 20 years worth of work to allow us to go ahead and do this mission? I'm sure there'd be no offence taken at all. But it's not really scientific. It would almost be the template for the perfect fraud. So, so, what? Sorry, what was that? Why, why would there be no offence taken? Well, that would be because Level Earth Observer is a pathetic, low-life, completely irrelevant and unimportant loser. Oh, it's good to be back. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I'm the Creaky Blinder and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone, bye. Alright, alright, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the Creaky Blinder.